Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through some of the top personal training certifications and helping you to better understand what may be best for you. Now you may notice that this is a screen sharing video instead of a more traditional video walking you through uh, like a physical presentation, so to speak. And the main reason for that is this is a research-based video. So a couple of things that we're going to cover are the top certifications. Now I have a list here, but this is not my website. I'm using this simply as a guide. So this is over at fitnessmentor.com com slash best personal training certification. So I'll put this link in the description. But what I wanted to note here is just kind of how to help you choose the best certification for you. So a little bit of background, I previously held my ISSA, which is the International Sports Science Association certification. However, although a great organization to consider, it wasn't the best for me at that time. Now, the main reason for that was at that time, the Basically, the jobs in the area didn't really recognize that or it wasn't the top certification in my specific area. So if you're looking to get a certification and you aren't quite sure if you're weighing, OK, how much do they cost versus can I actually get a job? What will it pay? I would recommend basically reverse engineering the search. So for this, and this is just a, a general example, but I've basically just looked up personal training jobs and we have a couple of options listed right here. If you know, okay, I have these three gyms located near wherever I live, um, I, you have the benefits that you want or whatever it is you're targeting, go and look at their websites and see what certifications they want and maybe even consider giving them a call and asking what certifications do you accept, what do you recommend, what would be like the top picks. The reason is you don't want to jump into a certification that could cost anywhere from 200 to 700 plus dollars you go purchase that and then you find out afterwards maybe those gyms don't take it or maybe they prefer a candidate that has one certification over the other. So it's really about reverse engineering that search because chances are if they prefer, let's just say the ISSA and the NASM certifications and you went for the ACE because maybe it's cheaper, I'm not quite sure, but if that was the option you chose, you could potentially be ruled out because they have candidates that have these two up here. So that's one thing that I would highly recommend. Next, obviously, doing your research and make sure, making sure that whatever you get is accredited by any relevant institutions and also that they provide the resources that you need. So often you want a certification that's going to offer you not just the knowledge that you need, but resources to help you determine, okay, how and what do I want to do once I finish this certification. So an example is you may want to make sure that you can get the proper forms that you need to walk through because there's the legal element associated with finding a personal training certification. So that's something worth considering. Also making sure, again, any additional resources uh, are going to be present and also being aware of really just what is the process for getting recertified or making sure that your certification stays current. And do you need CPR certifications or anything else to supplement? So all of these are really just factors to consider. But I'm sure many of you have done what a lot of people do, and you just Google what is the best certification, and you're scrolling through and there's tons of ads and you're not quite sure which one's best. Well, I think the easiest way to go around this is contact gyms, look at where you actually want to work, find out what is the need in this area, and then look up other websites. As you're going through, if you start noticing saying, well, it's the ISSA seems to constantly be at the top of this list. Maybe that's one that you should consider. Again, just making sure some gyms would prefer um, that you take certifications or get certifications where they have an on-site test that's being administered. Although, uh, with during the pandemic and all the other things that have been happening, a lot of these can potentially be done virtually. They may want you to have like a an exam that takes a requires a proctored test and there could be tons of different things to consider. So again, make sure that you're doing your research, find whatever's best for you based on your specific situation. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.